President Donald Trump called NAFTA the worst trade deal maybe ever signed anywhere. So he wants to renegotiate it or kill it altogether. So what is NAFTA? The letters stand for North American Free Trade Agreement. Starting in 1994, it bound the US, Canada, and Mexico into a single free trade zone. That means avocados from Mexico, auto parts from the US, oil from Canada, and thousands of other products can cross borders tax-free within the NAFTA zone. NAFTA was signed by President Bill Clinton and was intended to encourage trade between the three countries. Canada was already America's top trading partner, so the agreement's big goal was to link Mexico to its northern neighbors and modernize its economy. By creating good jobs in Mexico, it was expected to reduce the number of Mexicans crossing illegally into the U.S. to find work. From the beginning, critics warned the deal would hurt American workers. Pay a dollar an hour for your labor, have no health care, and no retirement, and you don't care about anything but making money, there will be a giant sucking sound going south. True enough, many American companies set up factories in Mexico. America's trade surplus with Mexico turned into a big deficit. And despite NAFTA's intentions, the number of Mexicans living illegally in the U.S. more than doubled between 1995 and 2007, before going into a steady decline. But economists say the impact on U.S. jobs overall has been small, partly because the $19 trillion American economy is so huge that trade with Mexico doesn't make much difference. American consumers benefited as cheaper products were shipped north. Detroit has done a booming business supplying auto parts to the Mexican factories that assemble cars. Companies with operations straddling the U.S.-Mexican border warn that rewriting or canceling NAFTA would throw their businesses into disarray. Some economists worry that a disruption in trade with the U.S. will wreck Mexico's economy and send more migrants across the border in search of work.